blessings will pour upon Akwai Wemse, upon Nigeria and upon Africa. I believe strongly that this is the way Africans should behave. We should go back to the root. We should worship our God. Once you have the foundation, the foundation is love. The foundation is love and the foundation is God. God is love. And once you can show love to your neighbor, then there will be no conflict in Africa. Once you can show love to your neighbor, there will be no kidnapping, there will be no vices, such as kidnapping, such as arm robbery and others. Once you can show love to your neighbor, automatically all the conflicts we are seeing in the continent will come to an end. And then we will show love to one another. It's very important that we love ourselves as we also love others. And for me, Christmas is all about love. The birth of Jesus Christ is a great sign that God so loved the world that he sent his only son to come and die and then bring salvation to the world. So this is the way we want to celebrate it. And this is the way Africa should. Let's get back to the root, the foundation. Let's get back to God and turn out all our children, all our attention back to God. And all the problems of Africa will be. It's a, it's a glorious day. Every day you praise God and uh, every day you worship God. Yeah, you know he does a lot of wonders for us, especially in this place. So I'm grateful for that and uh, I thank God Almighty that he has kept us alive again today to witness another career. And this is one opportunity that we have in showing the entire world that tourism in Nigeria has moved from everywhere and is congregating in Akwa Ibom State under the leadership of Dr. Goswil Ogun Akwabio. And it is not only at this arena that you will feel Christmas and that you will feel that a state, a government, and a leader welcomes and treasures his people. If you walk through all the most of the streets in Uyo, in Akwaibum State, and with not only in Uyo, if you go to Ikorekwen, if you go to Eket, if you go to Itu, if you go to some major cities, what you have in Uyo, the decorations, you don't need to come to Uyo itself to feel Christmas. If you are in if you are not, if you are in E2, if you are in Eket, you will feel Christmas. But today, the governor has said that let us come, celebrate together, have, an anoint, have the anointing. And I have fulfilled that this has finally come to be. I'm very, very happy that uh, the world is here watching Akwaibom State. I think uh, His Excellency has done very, very well. God says he inhabits in the praises of his people. And then for me, I feel that we are going to bring down the heavens today. That's why I'm here with my lovely wife. And I thank His Excellency the Governor for this idea. I thank God Almighty that has made this work. It's been very pleasant. It's one moment that I look forward to every year. Coming together here to give praise to God. Because if this is the only thing we can do to, for God, you know, for all His protection, 365 days in a year, for all the hours, for all the minutes, of all the seconds of protection that God has offered us, I think it is a moment that to be well spent. The name of the Lord will be exalted and that uh, glory will come from heaven down. The Bible told me that uh, when King Solomon dedicated the, the temple, he gathered a multitude and they were praise singers. The glory was so much that the priests couldn't, the priest couldn't stand. I know that there are over 10,000, 15,000, maybe approximately about 20 something thousand people here. Uh, they, were, they were coming face to face with the presence of God and that people's lives will be touched. The most beautiful thing about these gatherings is that it's about Jesus Christ. That's the most beautiful thing about this gathering. It, it, it strikes me strongly that a government would bring out itself to celebrate Christ when all the people are making all the efforts to cover Christ. This is wonderful.